ever wonder how to name coordination compounds? Well, first off, what is it? Coordination compounds are a product of Lewis acid base reaction. The ligands bond to the central metal ion. Ligand is a Lewis base and the metal is a Lewis acid. In this diagram, the metal is red and the ligands are green. Originally, the metal is positively charged and the ligand is negative or neutral. The coordination sphere is made up of the central metal atom and the ligands. It is enclosed in brackets for translation in the written formula. The coordination number is the number of donor atoms bonded to central metal ion, or the number of ligands. It is only the ones directly bonded to the metal. Now let's get to naming the coordination compounds. Here is the formula used to represent these complexes. It has a cation, metal, ligand, and an anion. Additional rules. You add 8 to the end of the metal if the complex is negatively charged. Hence, it only pertains to what's inside the brackets. We have metals with Latin names also. If the complex is negatively charged, write Latin name with the ending 8. An example, iron would be ferric. Omit Latin names if the complex is positively charged. In our first example, we have a cation, a metal, and the like. We know potassium has a positive 1 charge, but since there are 4, it has an overall positive 4 charge. We also know the ligand cyano has a negative 1 charge, but since there are 6, it has a total of a negative 6 charge. Our whole charge has to be 0, therefore iron needs a positive 2 charge. Since the complex inside the bracket has a negative 4 charge, we need iron's Latin name ferrum, appropriately naming it fer8, giving us the full name potassium hexacyanol ferrate 2. For our second example, we have a metal and two ligands. We know the ligands are amine and chloro. In alphabetical order, amine will go first and chloro will go second. The subscript 2 gives amine a prefix of di, and subscript 4 gives chloro a prefix of tetra. We know amine has a zero charge and chloro has a negative one charge, but since there are four, it has an overall charge of negative four. We need an overall charge of zero, therefore platinum needs a positive four charge, giving us the overall name of diamine tetrachloroplatinum four. In our third example, we will be translating the full name into its written formula. We have tetraamine dinitro platinum 4 bromide. We know tetraamine and dinitro are the ligands, platinum is the metal, and bromide is the anion. We know amine has a prefix tetra giving it subscript 4, and nitro has a prefix di giving it subscript 2. The charges for amine is 0 and nitro negative 1. But since there are two, gives it overall negative two charge. Platinum four has a positive four charge. We need an overall charge of zero. Therefore, the subscript for bromide needs to be two, giving us an overall written formula as presented. Example four is sodium tetrahydroxyl sink. We have sodium as a cation, tetrahydroxyl as a ligand, and zincate as a metal. We know that hydroxyl has a negative one charge since there are four and an overall negative four charge. And zincate two has a positive two charge. We need an overall charge of zero, therefore the subscript for sodium has to be two, giving us an overall formula as presented. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.